Welcome to the best albums of 2023. That's right, we're coming to the end of the year. There's one month left, December, which if you follow my channel before, I usually upload these videos like the probably like the first week of December today. It's a bit earlier, because in December we're gonna focus in on family. Like Dominic Toretto says, family, so there's not gonna be a lot of uploads, and I'm not gonna be listening to any new music, so you know. Nothing in December, sorry, nothing that's released in December is going to be listened to, so there's no point waiting. Let's just get it over and done with, and then start the year fresh, because there's going to be some new videos, some new playlists, and some other new stuff for next year, so sit back and stay excited. But today, let's celebrate the albums that I've loved from this year, and before we dive into my top 10 albums of 2023, thought I'd narrow it down to 10, because last time it was 20, or maybe 30, but there's too much. I want the best of the best of the best, and this is those best. But before I do, let me know down below your favourites of this year. What have been the albums that have just, you know, made you cream your panties? What albums were they from this year? Let me know down below, and let's get started with my number 10. Number 10 is... A fairly recent one, and this one is A Turnus with Philosopher. A Turnus is a classic black metal band. Uh, been around for a while, and then the surprise released this, and I didn't know what to think. And then I listened to it, and I was like, this is so different to the other stuff, but just as good. It's got this kind of evil atmosphere throughout the whole thing, very kind of doomy in a sort of way, mixing this kind of blackened doom elements in with the evil metal that they have. Uh, it's so good, it's so refreshing, it's one of the best black metal albums of the whole year. I'll probably do a couple of other releases, maybe best black metal and best death metal a year coming up soon with loads more albums on. Um, but yeah, Eternus is just one of the best of the year, it just has that atmosphere down to a T, thick and rich with dread. It's kind of mid-paced, but also it knows to when to ag get aggressive as well at the same time, so it has a nice has a nice mixture. But it isn't just pure rawness, pure evil and heavy the whole way through. It does have that bit of mid-paceness to it, but I like that. It has atmosphere, has charm. Eternus comes back with a bloody whopper. You know, if I was the king, this would be the king whopper. Uh, I love this album. If you don't know it, go check it out. Give it some love because it is one of the best of the year. Next up, needs no introduction, The Neck Himself, Corpse Grinder. Cannibal Corpse released an album this year and I love it. Chaos Horrific. Is it horrific? No, it's just as good as every other Cannibal Corpse album. I don't think it's as good as the previous one, Violence and Imagine, but that was... That's probably one of my favourite Cannibal albums of all time now. Um, the introduction of Eric Rutan to the mix, just, oh, the guitar work on here. Magnifico. So good. And there's different kind of styles in this album. Blood Blind, much slower kind of song. Um, there's an even a doomy kind of song at the very last, which is great to see. Um, Summon for Sacrifice, stuck in my head. The entire time, the music videos are amazing, pulling their eyeballs out and all that. It's bloody good fun. Cannibal Corpse can't do any wrong at this point. Um, the last two albums have been fantastic. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they do next. I feel like Eric Rutan has kind of refreshed the band. Uh, they've never had a bad album. But I do know there's just like new life in them. It's not just rehashing the same stuff. So I enjoy this new era of Cannibal Corpse. And I expect the next ones are going to be just as good as Chaos Horrific and Violence Un Unimagined because this album fucking slaps and I love all the songs, all the songs are catchy so yeah, easily, easily making it here. Next up, can't have a end of the year list without Enslaved now, can I? Heimdall. Heimdall by Enslaved is just so good, mixing in the progressive elements in with those black metal uh, Norwegian finest, you know. Back from the King Lavelde days all the way to now, <clears throat> they've never really had a misstep as well. Just as consistent as Cannibal, but a bit more varied. You know, you have those pure proggy kind of albums and then you have the more black metal stuff. This is in the more 
proggy kind of stuff, uh, similar to the last couple of albums they've done, but I feel like it's just... I don't know, I much prefer it to the previous album, I actually do. This is one where I actually much prefer it to the previous album. The songs feel more catchy, more weight to them. Um, I can't say if it's as good as, like, E. I think I prefer it to E a little bit, a little bit, but I, I do prefer Retir and Axioma, but those are bloody amazing. I'm an Opeth fanboy, and those remind me of Opeth. But yeah, this one, you can't go wrong with Enslaved. Enslaved released an album, it's going to be the end of the year list. That's literally, it's just fact at this point. Um, I'm pretty sure the last one was in my end of the year list, and the one after this will still be my end of the year list. His vocals are still that gruff, kind of gravelly, evil black metal vocals that I love, and then it has the clean singing and the beautiful melodies, and it mixes them all together. For fans of Opeth, but instead of death, black. That's basically how I'd describe Enslaved. Go check them out. Love this album. Next up for some more death metal autopsy. I forgot the name of it. Ashes, Ashes, Organs, Blood and Crips. I can never get the, <laughs> the, the names in the right order. I'm always like, Ashes, Cripsy, Blood and Guts and fuck what? <laughs> but this album's fantastic. They only just recently released an album, but this one I think is even better. And I like my Doom. I like my death. And putting some together, Match Made in Heaven. Autopsy is another band where I love most of their albums. This one is thick in filthy mud and grime. It's got a death metal energy you just know and love. It's absolutely just phenomenal. You know, um, every single song is just dipped in a thick layer of mud. And I love it from the production to the to the vocals, to just the evil atmosphere, everything, it has everything. Everything you need in a grimy, doomy, death metal album, Autopsy delivers, and they're still going strong. Ever after the, you know, Severed Survival, Mental Funeral, they're still going strong since then. No real duds in their catalogue either, shit fun, I'm not a big fan of the album cover, but the songs itself is pretty good. Uh, aside from that, yeah, pretty much like all their albums, so Autopsy. Thumb, thumb up from Quest, two thumbs up from Questy, the rare two thumbs. Next up, let's go powering it up with Marduk and Memento Mori. This is some blasting heavy black metal, but a bit more mid pace this time. There's a lot of mid pace kind of songs with it, some more atmosphere. What's going on? <laughs> is it turning back to the old days? No. Still furious, still unrelenting, still heavy, but just a bit more catchy. You have those bells chiming um, during some of the songs which just give it that creepy atmosphere. Some spoken kind of word stuff. Uh, just loads of different ideas and it just works so well. Powerful songs, powerful riffs. So many good riffs on this album. Headbangable. You know, like my metal headbangable. And they, they do it. Marduk's one of the best um, for that, uh, I think it's such an improvement since Victoria. Victoria was my least favourite and probably the worst Marduk album. Just felt flat and bland and the sound was shit. This one, complete opposite. Really inventive, really unique, sounds amazing, new ideas, and still heavy. Memento Mori. It is a, one of the best albums of the year and I love Marduk and... Yeah, this album delivered on all fronts, in the Western fronts. I love it. Yes. You want some more faster black metal? Hell Ripper, Walks Grim and Weathered Hags. This album has been getting praise from everyone and it is due because the album's that good. Mixing the speed metal with the black metal is just amazing and what hell has so many good albums um i say so many like three <laughs> but very consistent band all of them are great but this is one of the best like somewhat longer songs as well um and it managed to keep it entertaining with a fast kind of ferocity of the um the speedy black metal harsh vocals fast as hell the most moshable and the headbanger will ban on this list, probably. You just want to drink, crack a beer over your head, down it, and run into the pit while this is playing. It's a driving band. This album is just furious on all fronts. It gives Marduk a run for its money. Uh, no mid-pace to be found right here. Hell Rippers straight ripping you to hell, as the name suggests. 
one of the best albums of the year, love it to pieces, and if it's not on this list, if not on anyone's list, something's wrong. You know, this is an album that has to be on everyone's list, because it's one that just, I feel like, everyone can enjoy. Thrash metal people, speed metal, heavy metal, black metal, extreme metal people can all enjoy this album. Uh, it should be on everyone's end of the year list, not just mine. Hell Ripper, so good. Next up, I'm going to have to read, it's by Tark. With Et Have Av Av Stand. This is one of my favourite black metal albums of the whole year. Tark has just outdone himself on this one. Magnificent song structures, the catchiest riffs and melodies, the most amazing singing, and um, I even prefer it to the, the album, I've forgotten the name, Norig's Vapen, the banjo. <laughs> I even prefer it to that now. Uh, and I love that album. But yeah. So many good ideas. So well executed on this album. It has some atmospheric parts, riffable parts. You're just headbanging the whole way through. It's just catchy as hell. I love it. I love this album. I love it. It's one of the best. It's the most underrated album of the year. No one's talking about this album. But it's one of the best of the year. Talk. Go give it a listen. Give it some more love. We do here on Questy. But, you know, you have to too. So, Talk. Talk's new album. It's a bloody masterpiece, one of the best black metal albums of the year. So it's making it here. But it's not my favourite of the year, because that honour goes to Masafim with Arrival. Masafim, Masafim. This is the ding, 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 spacey black metal band, um, which mixes in elements of like trance music, kind of dancey kind of music in with the black metal, taking you on like a cosmic journey through some voids and you just feel like colours are just coming into your face. This is like a mushroom trip. A black metal mushroom trip through space. Mass effect on acid. Acid effect. <laughs> it's great. Um, I love it. You'll be dancing one time, head banging the other, just uh, pumping your fists in the air. Uh, I love it. I love it to pieces. I love all their albums, but this one just has so many hooks, so many just memorable moments in it. Can't help but love it. Arrival, I think like it's a great entry level point for the band as well, for people getting into the band. Uh, again, underrated, misophim. Uh That's how I describe it. Trance and black metal mixed together. There is another one, Dodd Himes God, Black Medium Current, which I could put on my list. Um, I wasn't as big into it as some other people. Some other people say it's the best of the year. I like it a lot. But I think Masafim is more my cup of tea. It's similar kind of vibe, but I like this more, which is why this is here. <laughs> but that one's still good for people who like the avant-garde, spacey black metal as well. You can go check out Dodheim's God, but for me, Masafim takes the cake, and it's why it's here on my number three. So, number two is going to be a shocker. You, we just had a bunch of death metal, black metal, and stuff like that. Fairly standard. Number two is In Flames with Four Gone. That's right. In Flames has just beaten Tark and Masafim and all Cannibal Corpse and all those other bands. Um, I love every single In Flames album. That's no lie. If you see my ranking, it's a bit weird. I have um, Sense of Purpose top. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love that album. Um, Jess the Race is second. Jess the Race is probably top now, but it always fluctuates between those two, but I still love them. I love the poppy stuff. I love the um, mellow death stuff. I love every album. Um, but this one, this one is a, as some people say, return to form. Uh, I just think it's a bloody good album. I think it's the catchiest In Flames album they've ever done. Um, I love it to pieces. It's probably one of my most played albums of the year. And that's saying something. Some people say it's the um, most overrated of the year. I highly disagree. Every single song is memorable. Every single song is memorable. Like the end one. You got to end the transmission. Oh, so good. Um, Cynosia. Where it's like, who's at the wheel? Oh, so good. That vocal melody. State of slow decay. Banger. Dialogue in B-flat minor. Banger! Um, Voices in the Dark is such a memorable song. Uh, I love that song to piece. One of my favourite songs of the whole year, Voices in the Dark. Fucking every single song on here is catchy and memorable. You can't say that with a lot of other artists. Maybe Ghost. But aside from them, I don't know. I just love it. Love it to pieces. This is like a 
close to a 10 as it can get for me. If I was going to re-rank in flames, this is going to trigger everyone. If I was going to re-rank in flames, this would be top. This and the Jester Race would be there. Um, sense of Purpose, close behind, because I still love every single song on that. Um, then like Colony and Horacle and all those all those stuff. But yeah, I am a fanboy of In Flames. So, sorry. Fulgon is coming here at number two, and it would be number one in any other year. The last couple of years I've had, this would be all of them. But there's a certain band that I love that has released an album this year, which is my... My literal most played of the year, and I've played it non-stop since it came out back in January. Um, can you guess what it is? Can you guess what Questy's favourite is? Doesn't take a rocket scientist or a marine biologist to know which one is my favourite of the year, and always has been since January, so pff, me putting this out in November, who cares? Uh, Ahab, the Coral Tombs. This is... Words cannot describe how good this album is. From the start of Professor Aranex's descent into the vast... Oh, oh, sh oh, sh oh With that whole evil breathe. With like, and then it blasts him with the drums. And I'm like, this is the heaviest fucking shit I've ever heard. And then it goes into the beautiful melody of the ocean. It feels like you're kind of on uh, the Stingray's you know, teacher tour during Finding Nemo. <laughs> Let's see the ocean, the ocean. The ocean. That's what it feels like. You know, underwater funeral doom, or nautical funeral doom as they like to call themselves, it's the best of the year. Every single song is memorable. You know, you got the creepy chimes and nightmarish atmospheres. You got the, the sea as the desert with that kind of Middle Eastern vibe going on. You got the coral tomb, um, the title track, which is the most beautiful and depressing song on the entire album. I love it. Um, Sleep My Friend in Your Coral Tombs. Oh, I shed a tear. I cry every time. <laughs> um, and then the ending with esoteric members in. I know all for members was in the first song, but esoteric members come in, which is my second favourite Funeral Doom band, in for the maddening vortex of him just getting descending straight back down into the ocean. It's, it's, it's magical. It's based on 10,000 Leagues Below the Sea, as all their albums are based on uh, novels and stories, and it just creates it so well. You have the picture in your head when you're listening to the album. It's a journey, it's a story, it's a 10 out of 10. It's the best album of the year, and it's not even close. There's no albums that are even touching this this year. This is how biased I am. There's no if What's my, what's my other favourite band? Opeth, that's right. If they release an album, it's not even going to come close to this album. It's, it's just not. No no band can release an album better than this. They just fucking can't. So, that has been my favourite albums of 2023. Let me know down below what you thought of my list. Or am I missing off? There's shitloads. But I'll probably come back with best death metal, best black metal. And artworks, because I like to do some artworks as well. And then your guys' picks, your guys' most hated, and your guys' favourites. And then that'll probably be it for you. So, yeah. Let me know down below, and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.